What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Um, guys, the servers are down. They've been on and off all day. They're finally completely down for like the last couple of hours. From what I understand, they've actually been down now for about 10 hours. Uh, only an hour ago did EA Help tweet, we're currently looking into the issues affecting our services. If you can't play online Access Origin or EA Help, we're on it. Um, and then EA retweeted that, which was uh, super nice of them. Um... But the servers are like massively down, obviously everywhere. And it's not just EA Sports. I think it's Origin and EA in general, right? I believe Apex is down. Um, I believe every EA game and Origin is down. Um, so we're going to have to use Fotbin and Twitter for the content to check it for today. Before we get into the content, if you guys want to drop a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. If you guys want to check down below, click that join button and see the membership opportunities and options there. Click that too. But... Um, I was reading on Reddit today uh, the idea behind a promo. And, you know, EA are really kind of like pushing this stay and play narrative, yet they're giving us nothing to stay and play for on FIFA. So I think, I don't know what was supposed to happen with FIFA. I don't know when Team of the Season is supposed to come and if that's been changed. I don't know when Euro content was supposed to come and if that's been changed. I don't know when the next promo was supposed to be or what it was supposed to be. But what I will say is... EA, now is the time to really give back. Like this pandemic pandemic is not looking to go anywhere, anytime. And people are logging on and off of your game quicker than ever before, in my opinion, right? And I say in my opinion because I don't have the facts and figures that you guys have. You might be looking at your facts and figures and being like, wow, more people are playing than ever. But you know, from what I see on socials and through my community, people just don't have a reason to stay on your game. Give us a reason. Give us daily and weekly objectives that are really fun, take us through all the different game modes and cause us to use all different teams and squads and players. Give us, uh, like, bring back old SBCs from FIFA 20, make them extremely cheap, give people a second chance like you already did once and, and do that again. Uh, bring back tournaments, daily knockout cup, things like that. Put themes on uh, weekend league uh, teams so that you're not just coming up against the same players all the time. Give us good content via SBCs. And via SBCs, guys, I do know that there are two SBCs here today. At least two. Um, so there is another foot birthday party. Oh, wait, Footbin doesn't have it yet. Oh, wow. So there is another foot birthday party bag that's that's out. But it's it's only foot birthday players. But I don't know. I, they, they don't have it. And then there is also, I believe, an SBC Fuchs. Uh, yeah, there you go. This guy, the Leicester fullback. Um, so he's been given a 39 pace and 29 physical upgrade with 14 defending, 16 dribbling, 14 passing and 6 shooting. That looks really good. He's only 3-star skill moves, 2-star weak foot. Set, oh, no, EA. No, no, no. How can you get it so right and so wrong at the same time? Let's break down this card. First of all, pace, brilliant. Shooting for a fullback, very nice. You maybe hit a few bangers, no dramas. Passing, brilliant. Vision's a little low, sure. Crossing, top tier. Short passing, top tier. Long passing, very good. Uh, dribbling is good. You know, his reactions to ball control are insane. His dribbling and composure are good. And then his agility and balance is a little low. But you could probably actually give him an engine to kind of correct a few of the mistakes there with that. Um... And then his defending is very, very good. Stand tackle, slide tackle, interceptions are real nice. Defensive awareness is good. Heading doesn't matter. His physicals in general are sensational. 99 jumping, strength, and aggression. But with only 78 stamina, the way this game plays, he will be obliterated late game. Like, you don't need an anchor on this card. A shadow probably... A shadow is good for this. Top pace, top defending, top physicals, top passing. Like, that is a quality, quality card, right? Yes, indeed. Um, I don't know how much it costs, but that 78 stamina, once again, just absolutely kills the game. I don't understand why. And, and again, this comes back to that whole stay and play thing. What harm? Like, I, and what, what I know is, is that they use this weird linear upgrade system, right? Where they just follow a stat and then max it out so they've given 29 physical and so as you can see it's only boosted um 23 stamina because once i i guess strength was the highest right no once aggression and jumping no yeah once once aggression jumping and strength hit 99 
it's like it, it hits like a wall like for for them to get stamina up to 99 they would have to theoretically boost the physicals to like 115 or 120 and that's not possible so it, it follows this weird upgrade system where it gets capped why not like like i understand for certain things you know for how many special cards that are in the game it must be quite difficult to manually change everything but for something like a flashback just give the guy like 95 stamina you know what harm would it be to just boost him like we know you can boost cards like that because you've done it with a few other cards so why not just give him 95 stamina now as i say i don't know how much this sbc is going to cost i don't know if it's uh if footbin have got it in active challenges yet they haven't so i i i, I genuinely don't know let's let's have a look at uh foot whiz and see if they've got the uh the SBCs there. Um, let's see. Wow, Jesus. Mad ads. Um, so, brand new foot birthday party bag. Is that the new one? No, see, they don't have it either. And I, I can't get on to... Um, and it, and it, I can't get on to web app or console because the servers are down. I know Nick's still on uh, web app. Let me go on to Nick's Twitch and just have a look, see what he's doing. Um, see what he's got going on. Uh, I, I don't know... I, I, I don't like he he's not looking at it really so i don't know what we can do with regards to that um i can't log in i literally can't log in at all so i don't know let's let's have a look at foothead and see if foothead have got what we need um where are the sbcs here what do they not have squad builders do they not have like new oh there we go sbc um latest challenges so apparently the latest challenges what what on earth is this is this icon swaps live challenges oh wait here we go live ha no yeah i i guess i guess foot foot head don't really have what we need um and I, I guess for bin just don't have what we need either so yeah i i genuinely guys I can't log into the web app so i don't know how much this fuchs costs uh it looks like two squads um that's all i can tell so far maybe reddit will have the uh somebody on reddit would have had it and, and will be able to show us and then obviously the foot birthday party bag the new one uh will be there as well um so let's see if we can get um Oh, there's new new marquee. Oh, new like there's something new here. So game changer, complete this challenge featuring UEFA Champions League players. Ten ten leagues, ten nations. Oh, max nations ten. Nine from the same nation, six golds, one UEFA Champions League common or rare, seventy five chemistry, eleven players for a prime mixed players pack. That's outrageous, EA. That is outrageous. And then Fuchs is there as well, and. There is a new that well. This isn't in in there yet, but yeah, fuck birthday guaranteed part pack basically. So fuck birthday player, um, the pack will be there. Maybe get your cards ready for that. But here is Christian Fuchs. So those are his stats again: three star skill moves, two star weak foot. Sucks. He's got giant throwing, which is something nobody ever needs. An eighty three rated and an eighty five rated with an inform. And again, like I just I don't. I I can't understand. We are we are deep into this game cycle now, right? We are in the middle of April. We've got March, sorry, the middle, yeah, sorry, yeah. We've got May, June, July, August. FIFA twenty one comes out in September, so we've got like four, probably probably three months left of this game at its kind of peak before it fully falls off the face of the earth. And when I see a card like this with seventy eight stamina generally really nice stats but 78 stamina three star skill moves two star weak foot and coming in with an 85 rated with an inform and an 83 rated with an inform that is really expensive um manalas was i think was manalas an 85 so manalas was 185 with an inform which is 135 and an 84 with an inform was 65 so an 83 with an inform is going to be about what 40k so you're going to be looking at almost 150 to 200 thousand coins for that Fuchs card. That that for me, guys, is nuts. Um, what you know, yet yesterday when I was streaming, I went on to uh 
I went on to um what did I go on to? I went on to FIFA 19 and had a look at some of the cards, right? And uh, one of the cards that I looked at was Alex Lacazette. And I had packed him. And I, I had to guess. I, I basically tried to guess how many players, sorry, how many games I had played with this version of Lacazette. And the answer was none. And by the end of the game cycle, now we are talking the end of the game cycle after the... Um, the festival of far or the best of promo that came in he's 200k and that's why for me in we're in april right all qualifications have been cancelled pro fifa's out the window it's done for this year who knows if fifa 21 is going to be released on time who knows when football's coming back ea should not be charging 200,000 coins for that christian fuchs or even 170 or anything of the sort because we're at that stage of the game where we're not far away you know, truly not far away. We're talking weeks at this point away from this kind of card coming in and eventually being this kind of price. Now, of course, he didn't start there, right? He started up at the one point, you know, some odd million coins and then tanked during the festival of fuck promo or whatever it was called, the best of promo, absolutely plummeted and then didn't really recover. And that that will happen a lot. And where where is that? So that's the end of July. So we've got May, June, July before the game crashes out now of course that is a high-end top tier team of the season player right and if we look at team of the season players in this game let's get somebody who was also very good bernardo silva and look at his price point so bernardo silva by this time last year you know we're talking a month away now was 500k and then by the end of june so five or six weeks from this point now he was under 200k so this card in five or six weeks from now, which is, you know, an unbelievable card, was as much as EA are charging Christian Fuchs for now. And for me, that just blows my mind. Team of the season, Robertson, 185 by the end of the game, went down under 100,000 coins. And even in June, look at that, team of the season, Robertson is like 600k. That's a tradable team of the season card in the early stages of team of the season for 600k why would you spend almost one third of the price of a card like this on an untradeable card with 78 stamina when in just a few weeks you're going to get something better and it's fair to say that if we look at the 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 cards that we already have in the game uh let's just go first of all to the premier league right and look at the left backs that we've got available and do it via price team of the year robertson is 900,000 coins right? Christian Fuchs is going to come in at 170 to, to 200k. That means instead of him, you could purchase Inform Robertson, Headliner Digne, Patrick Van Arnholt Winter Refresh, Kieran Tierney's left back card was 220k, Shapeshifter Pereira 350. So this Shapeshifter Pereira, I think, even though some stats aren't quite as good as Christian Fuchs, specifically in the dribbling area, although his agility and balance is way higher, his passing is not quite as good, this, for me, is a better card. Four-star weak foot, much better. Great pace, great stamina, good defending and physicals in general. And he's 350k. We look at this Tyranny card. Now, this Tyranny card got introduced the beginning of February, right? And this card is a very good card as well. Again, not quite to the level of Christian Fuchs, but this card has been here for two months already. So when we've had a card like this for two months in the Premier League... Why on earth at 200k, why on earth would people pay 170 to 200k for Fuchs or 150 to 200k, depending on what it actually comes out as, who has 78 stamina? Patrick Van Arnholt Winter Refresh. Again, another card that's not like unbelievable, um, but he's only 170k tradable. Digne is a decent card. Uh, Digne, great pace, great defending, little low on dribbling and, and passing. Again, not quite up to the level of Christian Fuchs for sure. Um, but as a tradable option, I, I think is really up there. And then Robertson as well, you know, I mean, 96 stamina, you whack a shadow or an anchor on him. Uh, that, is, that for me is a top tier card um, that I would rather in my team than Christian Fuchs. And that's just Premier League left backs, right? Forget the fact that you're looking at other left backs that you guys would have been able to pick up. For example, Alexandro. Now, he's way expensive, like 650 right now because fodder's quite high, but with no party bag SBC at the moment or, you know, with the, the game kind of dying, that won't stay there. 
Um, you've got people like uh, Teo Hernandez, one of the best left backs in the game, coming in at 420k. Flashback Marcelo was only 400k. And again, he's, an, he's a left back that's been in the game for so long already. Um, what else have we got that was like an earnable left back? You had player moments, uh, Alfonso Davies, who I didn't do this um, objective because I didn't think it was necessarily... Um, is there a way to like check objectives? Here we go. So that they, so I can't, I can't remember the objectives, but like Tagliafico and stuff like that were obviously in there. Um, but I, I just think like this, this Hernandez card at 400k. Th this is genuine. I don't know if you guys have ever used this card. I use him in draft. He is hands down one of the best cards in the game. Uh, he is brilliant. 85 stamina, great defending, good physicals, great short passing and crossing. A really high tier dribbling composure is not greatest but obviously five star skill with four star weak foot with that insane pace and he's really tall he's everything that you want in this game marcelo flashback was 400k alfonso davies was 120k top tier pace quality left back not outrageous and again not as good as christian fuchs that's for sure um but i just i don't know man i i, I think I, I i personally just think that ea are just way out of touch like the gameplay in this game isn't great right this card it's good it's a good card i can't i can't deny it it's a good card i just think 200k for it is just mad excessive anyway i've ranted enough um I, I would like to see ea drop in a card like this for like 40k or 30k you remember vardy vardy player of the month this player of the month vardy was 22k man now that's a bargain that's something sick pookie when he came out player of the month the first player of the month of the year he was legit for 17k. This card back then, bang a sniper on him. Positioning, finishing is top tier. Dribbling was good. Passing was good. Pace wasn't the best. For 20, you know, 20k. You can't keep char. EA just have this ability to charge 150k to 300k for every SBC, no matter what. And people keep lapping it up, and that's why they keep doing it. So anyway, that's my opinion on the uh, content for today, guys. Hopefully, we can log into the game soon. Although I don't particularly care if not. Uh, I should be back later on with a draft, but if I can't get into the game, maybe not. Um, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. I'm out. Peace.